is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. Time is now, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my big birthday bash marathon. Yes, one of the primary reasons I'm doing this is fundraising via tips to help to, to basically take care of my tax situation. Disgusting beggar. All right, the situation is thus. I need to raise a certain amount of money in a very short amount of time in order to basically qualify for a payment plan so that I don't get screwed over by back taxes, all right? And in reality, I waited until this morning to set up the goals and everything. Reason being, I spoke with my tax guy this morning. I wanted a concrete answer on stuff. And what you see on your screen right now at the bottom of your screen is a tips bar that is based on what my tax guy told me. He basically said, if you can raise this much money, all right, you will be good to go. You will qualify for the tax plan um, and, you know, you'll be set for the year. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If I don't raise this much today... Is it the end of the world? No. No matter what I raise today, it's good. Because no matter what I raise, it goes towards the taxes and they're going to help. But if I can raise this much, okay, this is going to basically qualify me for the tax plan that will pay off these back taxes slowly. And it's the best situation possible. All right. If I raise more than this, that's even better. That means I have some surplus now to help pay the, the you know, the tax payments that I'm going to have to pay over a, the course of a few months. Um, but... In reality, do I expect to raise $5,000 in tips today? No. It would be amazing. It would be kind of like, wow, take a big weight off of my shoulders if I did. I would be able to go to Connecticut to spend time with my parents this week and not have it constantly nagging me in the back of my head that when I come home, I'm going to have to deal with this giant fucking problem that's probably going to ruin me financially. Um, but I'm not seriously expecting. I e-bag, right? You're constantly asking your viewers and your fans for contribution. Uh, you know, to raise that. I'm just not. Um, it would basically blow me away if I were to raise that much money in one day. But as you can see, we have the tips bar at the bottom of the screen. This is going to continue to be there over the course of today's stream. I basically need help, all right, you know, and I'm hoping that putting up a tips goal every day will motivate people to tip me. That's why I was looking. I was like, oh, my God, like, it's almost 9 o'clock, and I'm looking. I'm like, wow. You know, the contributions were real low. I was like, damn, normally with Minecraft, they're way higher. That's why I was like, I don't know what's going on tonight. You know what it is? I hate to say it, guys, but it's the tips goal is a double-edged sword. So I had the tips goal earlier today. That urged people to, to tip me and help me out. They did, which was amazing. But then when I hit the tips goal, oh, that's it. Now it slows down. I hit, he Phil hit the goal, so there's no reason to contribute anymore. And it's like, it sucks because you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If I don't put a tips goal, then chances are that, that I probably won't have a lot of incentive for people to, to tip me. But if I do the tips goal, then when I hit it, it stops. So it's kind of like, you know. I'm not setting up a tips goal. Reason being, the tips goal is kind of a, it's not necessarily honest. Because like I said, if I could raise $17,000, yeah, that would make mean, all, mean all my taxes are, are, are taken care of. That would be the ideal state. It's also incredibly unreasonable. You know what I mean? I don't think that's going to happen. That's insane. Um, but no matter what I raise, it helps. So, you know, that's kind of why I'd rather do a total tips rather than a tips goal. Because I think a tips goal is kind of dishonest. Um, we are working towards the goal and every little bit helps via tips. Okay, guys? Yes, the tip bar is automatic. Yes, it is filling up automatically. I have this set up via Streamlabs. I know. I never do stuff like this. And now it's like, oh my god, this is actually working. 
I got it working. Um, Streamlabs is pretty damn good. If you look behind me, I decorated my office for my birthday again, just like I did last year. We got nice decorations behind me. We got birthday balloons all around the place, right? Pretty cool. And every time that a big contribution comes in, all right, I have party horns and stuff that I can play to celebrate, all right? Now, people have also said, well, if a big contribution comes in, will you dab or whatever? Uh, sure. You know, whatever you guys want. I'm I'm in a situation here where I just want to have a really great positive stream today. I'm incredibly grateful for anything you guys contribute. So whatever it is that you would want, you know what I mean, for a contribution, I'm happy about that, okay? Anything for this, right? Android Cheers says you have a house sitter coming daily. Is it because you have a cat? No, it's not. At all. Quite frankly, the reason we have a house sitter coming by is because we're nervous. Because we have so many people who fuck with us that we are we are nervous that someone is so dumb that they would actually break into our private community, which, by the way, just by stepping foot on our street without permission is illegal and is a crime that you could get arrested for. But we're afraid that some asshole is going to try to do something, you know? And even with all the things that we have in place, we're still nervous, so we want someone coming by every day to check on the house so that way if something goes wrong, they can call the police and get it taken care of rather than we come back after a week away and find that the place is burned down or something, you know? Um, that's why we're doing it. So, there you go. And right now, I'm being honest with you guys. I have no money. My bank account is empty. Guts for Garters did a 50-bit cheer. He says, Dark Souls 3 is easy. How many attempts did Gundare take you? Not hating. I'm just saying I'm pretty good that you died more on Dark Souls 3 than you have in Sekiro. Hate using this term, but they could just get good like the rest of us and stop whining about no easy mode. Guts for Garters, I have something I need to tell you. All right? I do. I have something very important I need to tell you. I'm not good at these games. <laughs> really? This shocks me. I don't know if you do this yet. I'm not great at, at these games. I'm not a high-level gamer at all. The only games I can really play at a high level typically are old school Street Fighter. And every once in a while, I can play some FPS games at a decent level. I'm not great at these games. Alright? Most people know that. Apparently you don't. I mean, the reason in Dark Souls 3 I died so much is because I fucking suck. You know, that boss, Gundyr or whatever. There are two ways to beat him easily. Number one, have a really good build, which I didn't understand when I was playing the game for the first time. I didn't know what the good builds were. Or number two, parry him, which I've never done in Dark Souls intentionally. I've never on command parried a damn thing in Dark Souls. So the two ways you cripple the boss, I couldn't do. If you, if you actually went back and watched my second run of Dark Souls 3 last year, I completely destroyed him. I wrecked him because I had a good build and I knew, I just look at the damage output I was doing to him. I was completely demolishing him. Okay, so night and day between the first and second runs, just with a little bit of knowledge, okay? Dark Souls 3 in general is the easiest of all the Dark Souls games because, number one, if you have the right build, you're overpowered, and there's a lot of builds that are really good in that game, by the way. And number two, summoning. You can summon on every boss. The reason I couldn't beat Gunder is because I didn't summon. If I had summoned, I probably would have beat him quickly. Android cheered. He says, there's a clip of you saying, at any time I can pick up a controller and play a game at a professional level, is that a joke or taken out of context? I don't remember at all when I said it. I'm certainly not saying I didn't say it, because over the years, I've said a lot of dumb shit. No, I cannot pick up any controller and play any game at a professional level. Fuck you. You're a liar. With no practice and no, no effort. That's insanely stupid to say, okay? However, with a lot of practice, a lot of determination, and quite frankly, with help from you guys, the viewers, yes, I can persevere and I can overcome things. And I can beat games that I never thought I would ever be able to beat. And, you know... Um, so yeah, I don't, I have no idea. You, you're asking me to try to remember one quote that I said over my 11 years I've been on the internet, and I'm sure I said it, and it's stupid. I said a lot of dumb shit over the years, right? That's the thing that I've kind of tried to tell you guys, if anything, the thing I've learned over the past decade, the world is not black and white, the world is not dealt in absolutes, and something someone said one at one point does not 100% absolutely represent who they are as a person, because people change and evolve over time, okay? <laughs> Now, before we begin, what I'd like to do is establish some ground rules for today's stream. Because obviously what I'm trying to do is motivate you guys to contribute. And I need contributions today, being very frank with you, uh, for the stack situation. So, what I would like to do, I set up a nice balloon there, is have it so that we have ground rules for levels of contribution. What I mean by that is, for example, if someone tips a certain amount, I do something. So, for example, I have these party horns. When you watch me on a stream, you're getting pure, unadulterated fill. You're getting out of me my pure, uh, you know, opinion on the matter. For the most part, you, you're, it's pure fill. You're getting the real deal. You're not getting the fake acting fill. You're not getting a Muppet 
like I like to call some other streamers who, oh, they overact for the camera, and they have the dyed hair, and they have to be this certain stereotype to make money from kids. I'm not like that, and you guys know that. For 10 years, I've prided myself on being the real me, not some bullshit character to make money. All right. So if we receive a tip of a certain amount, I'll celebrate and blow the party horn while I give my shout out. If we do like a big, a really big contribution, people, people for some reason want to see me dab on stream. I don't know why dabbing is so outdated in my opinion, but people like it. I don't give a shit. If people want to see me dab, I'll dab on stream or whatever. Um, and I'd be, I'd consider doing that. So what do you guys think? Because today's going to be a long stream. I need to, you know, basically raise as much as I can. And if it means doing silly stuff in order to do it, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. And that's how people are. That's, it. that's what they do. This is how I get attention. I'm acting like a moron. Acting like a fucking clown. Because these fucking people didn't overreact. No one would watch them. Because they're fucking boring. It's like watching fucking paint dry. So you got to act like a clown. <laughs> it's, it's gross. It's for this. It's not because... They love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. It's not about putting out a quality review. It's not about putting out a quality playthrough or quality stream. It's about making this. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Uh, no, I'm not going to eat spicy shit or get hit in the face with a pie. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> By the way... Hectop? I can't even pronounce the name because it's in another language. Just tipped me $38. That's awesome stuff. I can't wait. I'm having so much fun now. Really, seriously. And I cannot wait for more. This is cool because I'm getting that positive that positive vibe that I had for most of 2017. I'm getting it back now. But now, I'm getting that groove back. Getting that vibe back. I'm ready for fun stuff. I hope you guys are ready too. Thank you very much to Hectop for the $38 tip. Okay, let's go ahead and, and uh, update the leaderboard because you actually just beat Hank by a dollar and got up there. So Rob previously had tipped $30. <laughs> and Hank had tipped $37. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got a $38 tip. <laughs> 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 okay, that's ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, like if I get a, good, a, a big contribution via tips, I'd be more than happy to like pause the gameplay and do something silly for you guys, okay? All right. I'm a mature adult and I'm not a children's entertainer. And no, I'm not putting an on-screen list of things I'll do and prices. This is not a fucking... <laughs> this is not a services list. This is supposed to be people support me and want, want to just, you know, enjoy the fact that I do daily streams and they want us to continue to do them and not lose my house and be supportive. And then in, in conjunction, I do something silly. Not, oh, I specifically paid a dollar for this and this. It's not what this is. So I'm not doing that. Wait a minute. Hank Duma just took thirty-nine dollars. <laughs> and he says, I will not be denied my rifle spot by a Russian bot. Ha <laughs> ha! The connections are awful, the players are awful. When I finally get something going, my team blows it horrendously by allowing us to get attacked by seven choppers. At this one I think I give up. Oh, what? I walked up and knifed him. His his gun barrel was over my shoulder. He fired and it killed me. I give up. I'm done with this game. This game sucks now. This game is terrible. I ran right up. The gun barrel over my shoulder. Dead. Fuck this. Sadly... The experiment of Modern Warfare Remastered is over. It was fun for the month when it was free on PS Plus, and now it's it, it's garbage. I'm never playing that again. Fuck that stupid shit. After that, I'm done. No way. All right, guys. Blackout to finish. Blackout actually was really popular last marathon and ended up being a really strong end. So let's see if we can do that this time. Okay, I'll be back. Thanks, guys. We have to keep playing it to make money, 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 money. That's all it is. It's not even like they like the game. It's money, 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 money. And I'm not like that. I'm not. You know. The reason they're doing that, Swaggins, is to this. It's This is the only reason. They see the fucking dollar signs in their eyes because, oh, it's a fad, it's hot, 
I got to play the cot thing to make money, money, money. And I'm not like that. I will, I will play it. I played it a couple times. When I had a chance, I'll play it again tomorrow. Do you really think that... I'm, I'm being honest. Do you really think that they value your attendance and value your viewership and value your contributions when they literally are playing the cash cow game all week? They drop everything they're doing to play the cash cow game all week. Do you think they care about what they're doing? No. They care about this. They don't care about what they're doing. They care about this. Did I hit the goal that basically would take care of everything and I wouldn't have to worry during my trip to Connecticut? No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was great. Oh my god. But... That's still an awesome amount raised. I'm very pleased. Thank you to any, everyone. Like I said, some people have been asking me questions like, so what's going to happen now? Um, it's very simple. With all the money that I've raised for these taxes, I'm going to go to my tax guy and say, this is what I have. So this is it. Unless a miracle happens and somehow magic falls out of the sky when I'm in Connecticut, this is what I have. So, you know, with this, what can we do? Um, are we good enough to get on a payment plan or not? Because I was trying to raise the amount that my tax guy was telling me to, to raise. And obviously that didn't happen. Um, so hopefully... This is enough that he'll say, okay, we can get you on a payment plan. Maybe it's not the best terms. You know, maybe the payments are going to be way bigger monthly than I, I had hoped. But at least I can get to a point where I'm not massively defaulting and behind on taxes. You know what I mean? Um, Sam Buka cheered. He says, do you still drink alcohol? You seem to work too much to really unwind like that. Um, I do. Occasionally. It's not often. Maybe every once in a while. Once a week. Uh, or something when I'm out with cat, maybe if we're at a restaurant, I'll have a drink like a beer or something. Every once in a while, I'll have a relaxing drink at night. But it's not all the time. So, chronic liar. Well, I use the automatic chip tracker from now on, says Roy King Tree. Let me tell you, it really helped today to have it. I didn't have to constantly upload, upload, update the tips total. At the same time, it's obtrusive. I know it is. So for today, it was okay. But for, like, for ongoing playthroughs, do you guys really want to see this bar filling up constantly? Plus, I don't even know what the goal would be for each. Like, like For me, here's what I think. This bar is important because when I'm using it, you know I really need your help. Okay? Um... And not to say that, you know, daily your support isn't helpful. It absolutely is, and it goes towards my bills. This is going towards a special thing. If this became something you know, normally on a stream every day, it wouldn't be special anymore, and it would just become commonplace, and it wouldn't have an impact. I think having this bar up today had an impact. People were coming and being supported because they were like, oh, look at this, we're trying to fill the bar, right? Versus, oh, if I just have everyday odds there every day, who cares? So, no, I don't think this is going to be sticking around. <laughs> yeah. No, these 12-hour streams are not going to be a regular thing, Hot Rage. You can see I'm super exhausted. Um... You know, and, you know, this is just for a special occasion. I work full, I work full time. Every day I'm streaming, you know, between 8 and 10 hours. This is a special 12-hour marathon. I'm so beaten. I can't do this all the time. If I do this all the time, number one, it's not special. Number two, people won't come out for it because it's all the time. If I miss one, what's the big deal? And number three, I don't think people would be as supportive if it wasn't for a good reason, so. Doing a 9 to 5 would be easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll never get a job or pay taxes. <laughs> Honest pay for honest work. Fuck you. I don't do honest work, asshole. Only suckers do. <laughs> Only sucker works a 9 to 5 job. Alright. There's a nice lean in manual band for the end of the night for someone who's being an asshole, so they're out of here and they're not coming back. <laughs> I'm just going to ban. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. Oh, man. Oh. Can you tell I'm beat? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Mr. Piggy, the Ziggy Piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Help! What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. 
Phil's a loser, Phil's a beggar, Phil's a racist, Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile, DSP is a thief, DSP is a greedy fuck. This on? guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.